Good morning, YouTube friends. Okay, today we are talking about overwhelm when it comes to the Law of Attraction Planner because I've had some of you message me asking me how I am doing the front few pages of the Law of Attraction Planner. Um, for those of you that are not familiar with the Law of Attraction Planner, you may not get a whole lot out of this video um, or if you're not interested in the LOA planner, but I'm loving it. Okay. Sorry about the lighting. It is a very gray, rainy day here, but I only have like so many days that I am able to film and today's the filming day. So it just happens to be gray outside and I try to do the best that I can with the lighting that I have. Um, you will probably also hear the heater on. Normally in the past we heat with a wood stove, but this year we didn't think ahead and in enough time in order to get wood for the wood stove. So unfortunately our heater is running because it has been an icy cold week. Okay. And evidently I'm extra rambly today. So we'll just throw that out there too. <clears throat> got my coffee and I'm ready to go. Here's my law of attraction planner. I have shown it before here on YouTube. Um, I'm actually taking my pen out. This is the pen that I use in it. I'm obsessed with this thing. I found it. I started using this, um, with Hobonichi, the Hobonichi cousin last year. Um, I fell in love with the Hobonichi pen and then realized that it was the same ink that was in the uni jet stream um, pen so that's why i use this i uh, this is the four one two three five one two three four the five and one so i have i actually changed them out um the red is red but the green and the blue are a different i actually and if you guys are interested, I can show you how I do it, but I hack them. And currently I believe it's a Sarasa ink cartridge that I have in the blue and it's blue black. And then I think I have a brown and with the green, but, and then you have a pencil, but this is what I use to do all my planning in my law of attraction planner, that pen. And then I keep two mild liners here. These are the colors that I use that month. Um, and then each week I also have a separate highlighter mild liner that I use, but we're not talking about the weeks. We're talking about the pages in the front. And for those that um, are interested, this is a bookmark that my dad made me out of a spoon. He does a bunch of jewelry using, um, silverware. So that's my little bookmark that I keep on the front. Okay. I will admit, let's, I'll just, I'll share a little bit about me personally, um, because I do think that knowing your specific desires and how you work is important for finding a planner. Um, I am someone who loves workbooks. I love study. I keep notes on all the things. Um, I, if you give me a like fill in the blank workbook, I'm happy. Like I, I love having to fill in the blanks. So I am someone that loves this type of workbook style planner, but I will admit even myself who loves like so much, I felt overwhelmed looking at this thing. So my tip, my biggest tip for you guys, those of you that have the law of attraction planner and are asking how in the world, you know, I'm, I'm getting through it and asking for my tips. My number one tip is go slowly, take it in bite sized pieces. Don't try to do it all in a day. It's not going to happen. I mean, maybe for some of you, but I am one who loves again, workbooks. And this has taken me, I mean, it's, it's been a month and I still have, I still have a couple pages to do. So biggest, biggest thing, bite-sized pieces. Start with just one page. Okay, so let me show you guys. 
what I'm talking about. Those who may not have the law of attraction planner. Okay. This is an index and I've actually decided I'm not going to use this as a, my planner index. I've put a sticky note here that says tarot, your head spread. I did do a spread and I am waiting on the photos because I ordered photos from it. And I'm going to actually put all of that here so that I have that in my planner and I can look at the seasonal cards that I pulled to go with that season. Um, if you want more information on tarot and how I, how I view tarot and all that, that's all on Patreon and also a walkthrough of how I'm going to study and my year ahead and all that will be on Patreon, um, in the study tribe. <clears throat> so in the front, you have a lot of information. Okay. I love this. This is the emotional guidance system. It's very cool. Um, you can Google that and check that out. And then you come to the workbook stuff. Let me just show you, for those of you who don't have the Law of Attraction Planner, what I'm talking about when I am understanding how some of you guys feel overwhelmed. There is a lot, and you see, I have not finished it all, but there is, there's a lot to fill in and it keeps going. Again, I'm not done yet. Okay, there we have the month. So, bite-sized pieces. How I how I did it was I started I started here because it does ask you to write your life statement, mission statement, and then your personal information, um, and it walks you through how to do that. So when you get to that, that's not where you actually begin. Some people feel overwhelmed because they're like, what does this mean? This first page walks you through how to find your life statement, your mission statement and all that. So this is where I recommend beginning. Start here, take it one page, like not even a double page spread. Take it one page at a time and walk away. Honestly, the walking away is key because if you do try to sit down and go through the whole thing and you try to do all these pages, you're going to get overwhelmed. You're going to feel like even outside of overwhelm, I feel like in the past, cause I have had this planner before when I've tried to just go through it, my answers aren't as authentic. My answers aren't as deep. I really feel like this time taking taking the space, like answering, doing, um, this you could do two pages because they do kind of tie together, but sit down and do this. You'll notice there are different colored answers here. And that's because I went through it once, took some time, came back, reread the question, reread my answers and added things. Um, and then before you do your life statement and your mission statement, take another break and then come back and try to figure that out and then stop, stop there. Don't turn the page and try to set your 50 goals that you want to accomplish in the next 20 to 50 years. That's a lot. It's a lot to come up with 50 goals, even looking ahead 50 years, 20 to 50 years. Um, take a break when you come back start there. And that took me, you can see there's two different colors. I did 25 on one day, came back and did 25 the next day. And these two kind of go together because on this side, it's you creating a mind map using, they, they walk you through, um, all areas of your life, how to create 50 goals for the next 20 to 50 years, thinking through a bunch of different areas. So it does help to like kind of do this and then write down the things that are coming up while you're mind mapping. Um, <clears throat> and then stop, don't move on to the next thing. Stop, walk away, give it a day or two, and then come back and do the next page. And then these, these tie into all of it. 
And this is a lot for you to do, but, but the good thing about this is if you actually give it your time and if you actually do take it in bite-sized pieces and walk away, not only will you not feel overwhelmed, but you'll also get to the heart of these goals. That's why I love this planner is it doesn't just have you set goals. It actually asks you to go deeper. It asks you, okay, is this really what my heart truly desires? And then why? Once I achieve this goal, what is my reward for achieving it? What are my fears? What are my distractions? What are positive affirmations to repeat daily to counter those fears? Um, action steps to take to get rid of your distractions. Like it's, it, it, I'm rambling. It goes deeper than any planner I've ever had before. And then when you, when you work on your, this is my journey and it lists all different areas in your life. And it asks you, where are you now? Where are you going? How can you get there? And that it's, yeah, it's not just walking you through making a plan, setting goals, but actually peeling back the layers and helping you make smart choices, knowing why you want them, whether you really do want them, because some of the goals that I have set in the past, I realize now I didn't really want them. For whatever reason, I was setting them for other people or it was because I thought I had to set certain goals. Um, this will help all of that come to the surface for you. And then, so you have, let's turn it there, your journey. And then you have how you're gonna make it happen. My most important life goals. And then again, how, how do you make it happen? You script your goal, and then you create five major steps to help you get your goal. And then what I want specifically by when, you list it, why I want it, list it. And then here's where I haven't, like again, I'm right now I am in my stepping away from it phase. I did um, this whole, I did this, these sheets, this little insert here, I did at Art Lockdown. Not all in a day. I took a day, took a break, took another day. Um, and I've been home from Art Lockdown for about a week by the time this goes up. Almost a week. And I have not come back to this. I will probably dive back in today. And this is creating a life, this page right here is all about creating a life statement, scripting what you're grateful for. And then I do have that one filled. This one was really cool and I am covering it up. Um, this has you create skills that you want to master and then how and from whom you can learn to do so. Bad habits to unlearn, new habits to master. Um, what's covered up is people who influence me in a negative way. And then it asks you who are the positive people that you'll spend more time with accountability partners. How can they hold me accountable? And then what can you delegate to other people? So I did do that page, but I have not, this is another blank page that I'll, I'll return to. Um, I'll probably do the one I showed you today, the grateful life statement. And then maybe in a week I'll come back and create a new this is create a new supportive story. Write down the reasons why you believe you are not yet successful, what's holding you back, what limiting beliefs are holding you back, why do you believe that you are not good enough, and then you script a more empowering, supportive belief mantra. Um, yeah, so I'm still not done. So for those of you who, who might think that I've like already got it all figured out, already filled the front of my planner, it is... January and it's the end of January and I still have not done that. So don't, don't beat yourself up over feeling like you're not exactly sure how to do this or feeling overwhelmed. Give yourself grace and permission to take it slow. Even if you don't have all this stuff figured out by July, which is six months in, 
who cares? Like you get to make the rules. And although I have loved the entire process, if you skip it all together, if you don't make 50 life goals for your life and you just dive into the planner, it's your planner. You don't have to fill in every blank. You make the rules. So that is just what I wanted to remind you guys of today. Um, Cause I know a lot of you have shared that you felt overwhelmed with your law of attraction planner and have asked me how I'm doing it, how I'm using it. Um, yeah, bite-sized pieces, walk away, take it slowly and don't follow the rules, make your own. All right, if you guys have any other questions about all the workbook stuff in here, let me know. I hope this helped and encouraged you guys, those of you that do have the Law of Attraction Planner. Um, yeah, until next time, enjoy your wild, sexy lives.